there's kind of a lot to talk about, I feel like. They showed, like, it's crazy because I didn't really think that um, they would show, like, a lot. Like, when people were saying, like, uh, you know, oh, like, can, can, can show can, like, in the chat. And I'm like, bro, y'all, I think, like, I wasn't expecting them to show anything. Like, but I didn't realize how big or how much they had planned for TGS, which is crazy, but yeah um because when people were saying that in the chat i was like bro they're not gonna show ken but like first thing they show is ken and i'm like oh my god okay so uh Keep it was kind of actually insane but um yeah like they showed ken now i will say bro ken looks wide like you thought ryu looked wide like wide ryu no ken looks wide like thick can bro but um safety first bud you know he looks all right though like gameplay wise he looks pretty good you money recruit like he looks yeah. he still looks pretty fun I say you photogenic yo look at the character yeah. creation though Call like Luke. we're just coach this is so crazy like the character creation stuff they show is actually like insane like like look at this this looks actually really dope like i'm not even gonna lie this looks actually really dope and like i wasn't expecting the character creation to be like this this in depth but it looks pretty cool the city looks really cool some of it like i will say some of the like obviously the character or the created character models don't look as polished as the in-game you know like the the characters in the roster right but i guess that's to be expected especially since this whole mode within itself being so fleshed out is kind of unexpected in the first place so like it's kind of crazy but it seems like they've got like like these on the like battles on the streets like it looks crazy like and you can do like pretty much all the, like it's almost like it's almost like the xenoverse like treatment like you've got like kind of like how in xenoverse where you you can like study under characters like in the like you could study under piccolo or under uh broly and you like learn their moves and then you can use those moves as your creative character like kind of thing it's kind of like that um which is kind of cool you know it's something that you wouldn't really expect for like for like street fighter you know what i mean so like i think that that's pretty cool um and like you know like obviously the characters don't look as good as the in-game you know like as the characters from the roster doing their moves but it's still just fun like you know it's it's still just cool that like it's there you know so and like this like this part really interested me when he's like running through the the train like this looks interesting bro like this is so cool to me but yeah yo, chun li looks really good look at ryu like oh uh, this looks i mean this looks really cool like i'm not even gonna lie this looks really cool like Okay, but I will say, I will say, out of all the new characters that they show, Blanca, I don't like the way Blanca looks, bro. I'm not going to lie. Blanca looks a little weird to me. His his costume looks kind of weird, but also, like, I think he probably looks, I think he's probably the worst looking character so far. Jungle House, Edelman, from his but yo Dawson yeah that that costume is kind of uh Blanca has seen better days design wise anyway I don't know if um I don't know if that was his design in the actual like the leaked uh I can't remember if that's how he looked in the leaked uh roster like picture but all right well, don't expect me to be a pushover even Ken like I'm not gonna lie Ken like his face. Don't expect me to be a pushover. Like I mean, you know, I guess he looks high. I guess he looks high. He's got the bushy brows back, but he's also got the, you know, he looks pretty good. I guess. I mean, I feel like uh, what was I gonna say? Like, cause everyone complained about how he looked in five, right? So I wonder if everyone's gonna complain about how he looks now, but. <laughs> He's de like he is definitely a wide boy. Like in this game, he is wide. <laughs> Nothing wrong with it, but I mean, 
you know. Don't expect me to be a pushover. But you can see like the, the fucking like the textures in like the the gloves, like it's crazy. Crazy. Yeah, Blanca, like to me, I think it's Blanca's and Guile's like costume design, like for their base design. Doesn't look that good, but I mean, obviously the classic Guile costume looks really good. So I'm sure they're going to have a classic Blanca costume where he probably looks much better. But um, yeah, just the, the, the their base designs are not that great to me. But like, like I said, they're, they're obviously going to have their classic costumes and it is what it is. So and they're not like they're not really characters that I care too much about anyway. Like, you know what I mean? But I mean, like, I like that they're there, but like as in like, oh, if their design isn't like perfection, like I don't really care that much, you know? mainly because they're going to have those co classic costumes anyway. But, um, you know, it, it's it's just like those aren't characters that mean, like, that much to me in terms of them being, like, you know, perfect off the bat. But anyway. Yo, the hands, the hands look really cool in this game. Blanda's hands look sick. Also, Blanda's got the fucking uh, traps now. Like... Tris, electric traps, and yo, Ken still looks fire. Like, he still looks really fun. Dude, look at the fire from Dalsim. Like, bro. And the, yo, the stages, bro. The stages, I think, are, like, one of the biggest takeaways from this trailer. Because the stages, they, like, Blanca stage, fire. I'm so glad that they brought that back. I was hoping they would have brought that back in Street Fighter 5, I guess, like, towards the tail end, but they didn't, uh, but, like, it looks really good in this game, also, the, uh, like, the classic, like, uh, like, this stage, I guess this is, like, classic Chun-Li's stage, um, and then they had Dalsum stage, which looks really good, like, the stages are looking fire, bro, the stages are looking really good, like, I'm, I'm really, like, also this, like, this was so cool when I first saw this, like, They've got like a kind of like a party mode, I guess, which is really cool. And also, I love how they have this like, you know, this is basically like the lobbies that they have in like, you know, the Arc System games. But it's like, well, yeah, I mean, pretty much because in the Arc System games, like lobbies you have where you kind of look at an arcade or like you're set up at an arcade and you play it. But this was really cool. I don't know. I just I really like this idea because now you have your own created character doing that. So I feel like it's it, it kind of adds more depth to it, you know, and like. The fact that they had like older games too, I think that's so cool. And this is, I guess, where you kind of like buy, uh, buy like uh, shop items, I guess, too. I don't know. It just looks like they have everything very nicely set up and well thought out, you know. Which is just nice, like honestly. They got like the, you know, like it's just cool. I don't know. It's just, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Cause you know, like, oh, and <laughs> look at Dalsum's freaking super, by the way. Oh my god! But you know, it's cool, cause like you you play a fighting game, like so much, right? Like for so long. Like Street Fighter Five, for example. People that have played that game since its release in 2015, you know what I'm saying? Like they've been looking at the game for seven years. You know what I mean? So like, and not having something like this, it's kind of like, you know, I don't know. It just gets kind of like, you know. So this is a nice way to kind of keep everything fresh. Uh, for like a while, which is nice. I don't know. But yeah, it, yo, Ken Super looks so good. Like the set, like, oh my god, dude, Ken looks like Ken in motion definitely looks great. But yeah, like god damn, bro, this. Did they show this in the trailer? Or in the in the TGS? I don't know. But that's crazy, actually. Wow. But yeah, looks really cool, man. Looks really cool. I'm really, really excited. Yeah, the party mode is pretty cool because, um, you know, like, uh, you have, like, a, um, like, uh, you know, I feel like Street Fighter, uh, what was I going to say? Street Fighter Five. well, just in general, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, fighting games in general, I feel like need more need more modes where you can just kind of play you know for fun you know to to make things like kind of crazy and like 
I don't think, like, you know, I mean, Mortal Kombat, I would say, kind of has been, like, the last game to maybe have stuff like that. But they don't really do it the right way because I feel like you have, like, um, they, they kind of put these, like, little things into the uh towers mode where you have to grind to get like skins and you know extra fatalities and stuff like that and then they just put random shit in that they throw at you as you're trying to grind that and that's not really fun because you're just trying to play that game to unlock stuff or like to to do stuff and then they just throw it at you like i mean i don't know maybe there is a way you can like just play with those uh extra like hazards and stuff on but um i feel like it's it's not done in a great way the way that MK did it with like they're just throwing it at you as you're trying to just you know grind through the CPUs and, and unlock stuff, but um this uh, this trailer that might you know it it, it sh they might actually do it in like a really cool way uh, maybe we'll see and if it's like fun you know because like they had stuff like this in Street Fighter Cross Tekken or where like where it wasn't really like uh, I don't, I wouldn't say it was like like this where they had like items and stuff kind of in it. But, you know, they had more of, like, a, like when you could play 2v2s, like, everyone is on the screen in Street Fighter Cross Second. I think that was, like, one of the coolest, like, modes that I've ever seen Street Fighter do. And even though competitively, like, maybe it wasn't great, like, it was still fun and really cool that they did it, you know, that they had it there. Like, I think that that was so cool. And um, that's definitely something I would love to see them bring back. Like, I just, I love when fighting games do 2v2s. Like, MK... Uh, MK9, when they had 2v2s, that was awesome. DOA, DOA5 had 2v2s, like, that was awesome. And the fact that you can have four players, like, I think that that's something they should at least, like, try and bring back or have in, like, a lot of, you know, new fighting games. But maybe it's because, I, I, I'm not really sure why they don't do it. Um, but I, I just think that that's something that's really cool. And it's, it's cool because it's, like, you know, like... I don't know, I, I think a lot of times when you play a fighting game, right, it's like, damn, like, it, like, if, like, let's say, oh, I want to play a fighting game, with, or I want to play a fighting game with my friend that's, like, that comes over, right, he probably doesn't want to play with me, because, like, I'm gonna just beat his ass, you know what I'm saying, but, like, if you have that option to be like, hey, we can be on the same team and fight the CPU, or fight two other people online, like, I think that's just a nice, it's a really nice, like, thing to have, like, there, you know, because... I think it it can be intimidating to to play fighting games or get into fighting games when you like know like oh like you know I'm gonna play with my friend or like this person that's much better than me or like you know what I'm saying like I think that just having that option there it's like it might be a lot of work it might not be as much work but I just think it does so much that maybe game developers don't realize but you know it doesn't seem like they're gonna have that in this game, which sucks, but I really wish they would have something like that um, to make it more casual or whatever, but the stuff that they do have looks cool. It's it's at least cool that it's there, you know, as opposed to it not being there, like in Street Fighter V. Um, so hopefully, like, you know. Hopefully it'll be, uh, It'll be cool. But yeah, I uh, I really like uh, what we saw. So um, I'm really excited. Hopefully, uh, you know, hopefully we get uh, more news soon, actually, because, man, like, I wasn't expecting to get this much in this trailer. Like, we got a lot, which is kind of crazy. Shall we begin? And also, I really like how they had the uh, the old classic games for the um, like the battle hub and like the little arcade lobbies where you could play like Street Fighter Two, like that was insane. That was actually really cool. I mean, I feel like they've released Street Fighter Two so many times now that like <laughs> the game should be free at this point. But like, it's still cool that they had it like there, you know. So I wonder what other games are gonna have to where you can just play them kind of. They're like, I think that would be really cool. I hope they have like a uh, museum mode as well, or like a gallery mode where you can unlock um, other like Street Fighter artwork and illustrations and music and stuff. I think that would be really cool. That was something that they had in Street Fighter Five that was really cool. But um, I hope they don't just like, oh, well, we did it in Five. We don't have to do it again. Like, I hope they actually do do it again because I think that stuff is really cool to me. Like, I'm really into that stuff. So especially like music side of things, uh, which <laughs> you know, Street Fighter Six kind of, kind of is lacking in that the music department. But uh, 
It would be cool. It would be cool. But yeah, man. So far, like... Wow, like... So far, like, yo... Sh this trailer for Street Fighter 6 and, like, the Tekken 8 trailer that just came out, like, bro, the future for fighting games is looking bright, bro. It is looking bright. Like, oh, my God, I'm so excited. Like, yo, like, this is crazy. This is actually insane. Like, yo, ah, uh, I really want to get into this closed beta, but it's just, like, it's not letting me sign up. I'm actually sad. I hope I can get into it. But, yeah, wow, this... The future is looking bright, man. Sheesh. I'm actually really excited for Street Fighter and Tekken. Oh, my God. Wow. Wow.